Okay, we're here on our uh, longest hole of TPC Danzante Bay. It's 611 yards from the tips, but today we're playing uh, 498 uh, par five uh, from the blues. And uh, it's a pretty straight ahead hole. There's nothing tricky about our holes here. Uh, we got bunkers down the middle. Your fairway is very wide on the right side. What you want to do here is don't aim at the bunkers, of course, and don't aim them at the mountains. What you want to do is aim down the middle of the fairway. If you push it or slice it to the right or pull it or whatever, you'll be fine. Trust me. Okay. And today, uh, as the wind goes, it's uh, a little bit right into our face. So I'm just going to try to just hit a nice shot with balance and uh, get somewhere in the fairway. That's uh, right down the middle, probably about 350. No, wait, 250. No, I don't know how far. It's just <laughs> it's in the middle of the fairway. So uh, we're not in trouble, so get the second one. Ready? Yep. So we're here on my drive. Uh, I'm probably about, I would say, maybe half a yard off center. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you, pull, cool? you pulled it? <laughs> yeah, I pulled it one yard <laughs> left. Uh, What's happened now, it's, I have an interesting dilemma. Uh, I have a three wood in my hands. Uh, the wind is blowing right into us, dead into us. And of course, the, look at the flag. If you look at the flag, the flag's not moving. So, but the wind is blowing right into us and I'm 262 to the pin. Into the wind, probably about 275. Now I don't hit my three with 275 unless I have a little bit of concrete on the floor. But uh, you know, I hit it about 250, 260 maybe. So I can either try to get it as close as possible to the green and try to pitch and make an eagle or birdie or par for sure. Or I can lay up. I'm only about, uh, I'd say about uh, 100 and, 125 yards layup shot to have 100 yards in or, or, or 150 yards layup. I, I, what I do is two, 262. If I hit it 162, I'm 100 yards out. So probably about an eight or you know something like that to hit, maybe a seven into the wind or whatever. But uh, the challenge is, is, how do you feel today? A lot of people don't take into consideration that sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're 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 just not feeling right, not hitting it properly, and uh, you go for the green. Yeah, let me give it a go, and you're gonna hit it up in the mound, and you're gonna hit it all over the lot. Now, uh, I always when I know that I, it's hard for me to reach the green right now. Uh, I'll probably just go at the flag, but. I'll try to just make a nice balanced swing and try to bump it up there somewhere where I'll have a sand wedge or, or a, a nicer shot into the green. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So uh, the key thing is, is don't try to kill the ball, just try to make a nice balanced swing. Unfortunately, that shot went left of center about 10 yards. So it's kind of a little pull, more than this one, but it should be fine. You know, I, I, I try to swing with balance. Even though it's windy, it doesn't matter. And I should have a decent shot into the green. Ready? So we've uh, reached our second shot. And like I said, we're a little left of center of the fairway. About 60 yards to the pin. Now, uh, one thing that you've got to think about all the time when you're hitting these touch shots is uh, you need to feel them. It's not take the club back right here, take it back right here. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with feel. Okay. Now, I always like to look at shots and I see three things all the time. I see direction, I see height, and I see side spin. Now, normally these shots, they don't get a lot of side spin, but they do get direction and height. Now, this is a nice pin to go right at the flag, pretty close to it, and get it a little bit high so when it hits, it kind of checks. And uh, hopefully we can get the right yardage, and hopefully I'm feeling really... Wait, wait a minute, see, now the flag's moving. This is I need a tequila shot or something, because this is stressing me out. But uh, we'll try our best to, to knock it in the hole. So I always like to get behind my ball and picture a line and then just get set and uh, take a swing with feel. Now 
I hit right behind the flag. I probably have about a seven, eight footer, maybe less, maybe five footer, I don't know. But it was a nice shot. Went on the line that I wanted, did everything. The wind didn't help though. It, it was blowing a little harder, but uh, didn't cooperate. But that's okay. okay we got a birdie putt. Here we are, we're on the green. Uh, my ball hit three feet behind the flag. And unfortunately, I didn't put enough spin and it kind of rolled off a little bit. So right now I have, I think, what, a 15 footer? Uh, but we're putting for birdie, so we're doing well. Um, in uh, Danzante here, our golf course, the greens tend to, when you have putts this length or even shorter, they tend to go straighter and not, not break a lot. So they stay on the line. So I have a little dilemma. I personally think it's gonna break a little to the right, very little, but it might go straight. So I'm gonna close my eyes, aim, and hit it. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna aim, might aim it just a hair left. Got it. So now I catch my eye. Right about right there. Then I just wanna make a nice stroke and feel how hard I'm gonna hit it. Now distance was okay. But see how when it dies off, your putts will tend to take the break. And it did break to the right, and it also broke my heart. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, uh, we ended up with a par is, is what we're looking at. And uh, we go on. You know? So we're even par still. We're still playing decent. Uh, when you have opportunities, you take them, you know, and kind of played a, just played for a par almost. 